Look at this shit. Buys a motorbike, goes shopping. Hashtag regret. This backpack is chockers. This tank bag is chockers. And I overbought, as always. Apparently it's something that males do, buying in bulk. And I bought a heap of Milo. And it's going to have to go on the handlebars or something. Look at that. Like it was meant to be. Oh, jeez. Done this a few times, but it's... It still sucks just as bad every time. I have to move my ram mount. Damn! Milo Tim better not scratch my bike. Or I'll be crying. Oh yeah boy. Bike alive. Didn't even look. Mint. So yeah, shopping, shopping when all you own is a bike is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not as big of a deal as some would make out. A few times I've bought too much like I have right now and I've got something hanging off my arm and that's actually quite, quite alright what I've got there. Sometimes I've had quite large and heavy objects swinging around which I'm sure is not really safe, but what do you do, you don't catch a cab or something, or you could call a friend and pick it up, but it's not really worth it. But yeah, the, uh, the, only, the only problem I've ever had is one time I had, um, had something tied down on my arm or something and the bag ripped and yeah, my shopping went flying. It was like a bag of frozen chips or something. So yeah, it wasn't a big loss. And um, yeah, I couldn't really go back to pick it up as it was on the on ramp of the motorway. There was no pullover place or anything, so it just stayed there for a couple of days till eventually, no, I think, I'm guessing the council picked it up. So yeah, if um, any of you watching ride and go shopping, tell us how you deal with it. Myself, I have this tank bag you can see here. I have a backpack that I'm currently wearing that you saw and also have a bag that I can tie down to the back of my bike it's called a banana bag but it's um, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to put on and take off so I generally either put it on and leave it on for a while or don't put it on yeah it's very handy though so yeah the only downfall to not having a car. Other than that, I love it. You know, the rain, yeah, the rain sucks, the cold sucks, but really not that big of a deal. At the time it is, but then, you know, I don't have added expenses like fuel and insurance. Petrol's the main one.
let me know what you think is uh, a good alternative possibly to me uh, carting more stuff. I think the most that I've carried is uh, it was $160 worth of stuff. I don't have that much now. The stuff I have is just bulky. Some of it's my work clothes and I bought two pairs of shoes and then I went and spent 60 bucks at um, Woolworths, which is a shopping centre in Australia. But yeah, let me know how you deal with the pains of carting objects around when you don't own a car. Oh yeah, and there's that time I bought a 32 inch TV and put that on the back of my uh, bike. That was fun. That was uh, very interesting on the motorway. And it didn't break on the trip. Because, uh, yeah, the, um, the TV was on special for under 300 and then they wanted 50 bucks to deliver it. And I was like, nah, I almost made it not worth the discount. You know, I was like, well, what's the point in that? So I just uh, took a risk and, yeah, it worked out. But I may not do that again. It was a little bit scary. Okay, well, that's it for me. See you later. Oh, look at that traffic. Nice.